Drew Taggart and Selena Gomez appear to have confirmed their rumored relationship. Exclusive images obtained by Page Six show the singer-actress, 30, and the Chainsmokers member, 33, enjoying a flirtatious date at the bowling alley The Gutter in New York City on Sunday. The duo was allegedly making out like teens while spending some alone time, according to an eyewitness. Our eyewitness reveals that immediately after, there was also a group of young girls that walked up for pictures from her and a man getting an autograph. Gomez wore a black hoodie and matching sweatpants, as they kept things casual. Her bangs framed her face and her dark, shoulder-length hair was down. Taggart, on the other hand, chose a long-sleeved camouflage shirt and dark-colored leggings. However, his most striking accessory was the wide grin he wore while watching the only murders in the building star bowl. While Taggart's representative had no comment, Gomez's did not answer to our question right away. According to Us Weekly, the couple is now having a lot of fun together, but is extremely casual and low-key. The musicians enjoy going to the movies and bowling, so they aren't attempting to disguise their romance by hanging out at members-only clubs, a source told the publication on Monday. Gomez is very loving and cannot keep her hands off the DJ, the informant continued. In the midst of Taggart's new relationship, Eve Jobs, his most recent ex-girlfriend, appears to have cancelled her Instagram account. Earlier on Tuesday, when we tried to look up Jobs' account, we got a message saying, sorry, this website isn't available. The closer hitmaker and the 24-year-old model, who is the daughter of the late Apple founder Steve Jobs, started dating over the summer, but their relationship must have ended. Their breakup, according to Us Weekly, was completely amicable. Models Haley Rowe, Meredith Mickelson, and Chantel Jeffries were previously linked to Taggart, although Gomez has been very mum about her love life since her breakup with The Weeknd in October 2017.